Welcome to La Range. I'll be your server, Kyle. Our specials tonight... Damn it, Kyle. Are you blind? We're in the middle of a conversation. I'm so sorry. I'll come back. Actually, I kind of wish we'd heard the specials now. <sighs> this is fun. So fun, right? Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look and review Season 11 for the critically acclaimed adult animated series, Archer. Released in 2009, Archer consists of 11 seasons with 116 episodes that range from 22 to 24 minutes each. Nominated for numerous awards like the Primetime Emmy Awards, the Annie Awards, Critics' Choice Television Awards, and more, Archer has become a series that has a huge fan base and being in the top 10 in Entertainment Weekly's top 25 greatest animated TV series of all time. The Archer series is not an adult animated sitcom that revolves around the life of special agent and self-proclaimed best secret agent in the world, Sterling Archer, who is voiced by H. John Benjamin. Archer's exploits take him all around the world, saving it or making it worse, and then saving it again. With great voice actors from John H. Benjamin, Judy Greer, Amber Nash, Chris Parnell, Adam Reed, Aisha Tyler, Jessica Walters, Lucky Yates, and more, bring to life the wonderful writing and beloved characters of the series. Being a huge fan, I have watched the series since its infancy until its current season. Taken as a ladies' man, constant drinker, a very egotistical and over-the-top personality who primarily only concerns himself with himself, but is there in a pinch when you need him. This style has served the series well for 10 seasons, with 4 seasons based on the fictional seasons in Archer's mind while he was in a coma, having the team take liberties on the story and character development that take the viewer on fantastical stories before Archer wakes up in Season 11. In Season 11, it is the first time Archer is vulnerable and has to deal with not being the top agent as he inserts himself back into the team after waking up from his coma. As he slowly inserts himself in the new team with their new professional outlook, slowly but steadily, layers of the characters unfold as they once again become the lunatic bunch we are happy to see in the past 10 seasons. What becomes of the team or Archer as he isn't the same agent as he is before as he, he needs to accept his new role as support and what it means for the team as they once again accept Archer. Once again, with great writing and character development, with the same action you're used to with great comical punchlines that leave you entertained week to week till season's end, granted only 8 episodes, which you feel a bit short, they do cram more storytelling than ever before, pushing each episode to its satisfying end. Archer Season 11 gets a 9.0 out of 10 for its raunchy, whimsical writing with lovable characters that always add to the fun and never detracts. A must-see for new viewers from Season 1 and on, and a great return for current fans who love to see what happens next in Archer's development for himself and the great cast behind him. That's it for me on this episode on Season 11 of Archer. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here, and I will see you next upload. Wait, just one question. Why use me to get to zero? Why? Because you're best friends. What? Aww. I can't stand this guy. You spend hours a day with him. True. We work together. You talk about him more than anyone else. <gasps> Really? To criticize how stupid he is. Oh, please. He was the first person you told about your new office. Wow, you told me first? To spite you. We are best friends. Maybe I'm your best friend. You're my worst stranger. It's a classic odd couple fight. Okay, it's one thing to say I'm not the world's best spy, but saying I'm Cyril's best friend is an insult that will not stand. That's a bit hurtful. You realize you've bought a cave. Damn.